I saw this this person playing these vinyls with mixer and turnable. I said, what is that? I was there and I was so curious. And uh, yeah, I, I said, okay, I wanna do the same. I really like how this person make dance the people. Everybody with the hands. When you are playing, you should to be, to feel how the crowd is, is is feeling you, you know. And uh, when I see the people like with with the hands in the air, you know, uh, screaming, ah, yeah, I feel good. Because I remember when I was in the, in the crowd, and I was also uh, enjoying the time, that, and uh, it it gave me a lot of big uh, uh, sensations. All DJs and producers should be that uh, a raver or a dancer before a clubber. Before. I think without that you can't understand the, uh, the feeling that the DJ had to give to the, to the crowd. I remember when uh, I saw for the first time a DJ playing. I think it was in, uh, near my, my house, my, near my home. It was a commercial place, it was a summer party. It was totally unbelievable. I, was, I just went out of my house and uh, just walking with my friends. And, uh, my friends told me, there is this kind of club, we've never been there. I wish sure to go there, there is a DJ, Dave Clark, Dave Clark. And I said, well, who is Dave Clark? I saw the lineup, of Dave Clark, Rino Serrone, Billy Nasty, and I said, I don't know no one name. It was a Easter party, it was in the morning. So I said, okay, it's the first time I, I go to dance in the morning, so let's go. It was, I remember it was raining. And uh, but the people still dance, still there enjoying the music. And I ran and said, wow, this music is very good. I say, wow, maybe this music is, could be good to, to play this kind of music. Yeah, I think this day totally changed my life. From that day, I, I, something in my mind happened. And I, I say, wow, I want to I wanna change my, my life. I want to do this kind of music. I really, I feel that this music is much better than the music that I did before. It's something that you, you can't decide that. It's just your your soul and your, your mind says, I want to change. So I started to, to go uh, always at Old River, every party I was there. So I started to, to introduce myself in the, in the organization. I started to know the the, the promoter, DJs in, in on stage. So I started to to know everybody. I remember I started to meet uh, Marc Antonio, you know, I started to talk with them. And uh, yeah, it was the, the, the passion of the music that started to introduce me in this kind of, um, of a circle. Because if you want to, uh, to arrive to do something, I think it's natural, you arrive to do that. The best thing I did before is to go to dance, uh, go every weekend to, to listen to DJs because it gives a lot of inspiration to my to my life and to my DJ my DJ passion. And I said, wow, this music is amazing. I wanna I wanna play the same, but here it's impossible to find this music. Where I can buy this music? When I discovered the internet, was much easier because uh, I, I ordered the uh, records from London, from Germany, and it was very easier for me to, to find good, good stuff. Yeah, I started with my friends and, uh, at, uh, at the most, just in the garage, and uh, or uh, my, my friends. Uh, rent, rent to the clubs and make parties. I wanted to play in this Christmas party, in this carnival party. So step by step, I, I started to know the right people to play there. Since I started to to know the, this techno family of Napoli, I, I I totally changed my thinking about music in Napoli. I didn't know about this underground um, scene in Napoli. So since the early 90s has this techno uh, underground scene but I didn't know that so I started to discover it and uh, I started to, to to become part of it uh, I think I represent my city when I play outside I want to represent the crowd and the people that support me in Napoli and always they are there and they are there supporting uh, the, the, the sound I make and this is the best happiness the best the best thing for me i love it
if the crowd give me the, the right energy, I can play 20 hours, hours, 24 hours, and one day no stop, two days no stop. In Europe, we have everything. We have uh, we have a, a good life. We have uh, all all kind of parties we want. But for example, in South America, where the people doesn't have the, the society that we have, maybe they they find in the music most happiness of uh, her, uh, of the week. You know, for example, they they wait the Saturday night to 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 dance and. Uh, to, uh, to enjoy the time and to explain um, th their emotions. We well, are very selective now. At the beginning, honestly, I didn't know that you know how to to select. I didn't know what is the the program or the machine. Nothing. The drum machine. Nothing. I didn't know how to make a tracks. I don't know, I, I started to use my home PC thing with two i5 like that. And honestly, I don't know why I, I, I tried to make tracks. It, it's also something that it was inside me, now just came out uh, natural. No, I didn't decide that. Wow, uh, how to make a track? Uh, how to release, how to produce and play my own tracks. I, want, I wanted to play something special for, just for from me from uh, made from myself and uh but yeah it was it started from that point i was playing in my city in a club called disco seven where i was a resident and uh yeah it was like a party for two three hundred people nothing more and uh and my, my friend from Napoli arrived and hey, hey Joseph, this is the owner of Globox, Globox Records. And in that period I had some unreleased stuff, just uh, demos from, by, for, by myself, but just for myself. I didn't give it to nobody. And uh, yeah, I said, hey man, I have a, a CD with some tracks and maybe if you want to listen to them or check it at, at home. And he says, yeah, okay, no problem, let's, let's listen to them. And after a week, I remember he called me. Wow, I really found some interesting stuff inside here. I think there is no record, but I think you can make a record. And uh, I started to work hard after that period, and uh, I finally arrived uh, uh, to produce my first record. And I remember it was a, a great success for me because I, uh, it was my first record and it just uh, pushed me up because it was a um, microbiotic. It's a track that everybody played, also with a, a remix from uh, Massey DL that I think happened to me a lot. And um, yeah, I remember Richie Holdings, Van Pat, uh, everybody, every big, big uh, DJs played play that track. And uh, I, I started to enter in the musical uh, world without know that, so it was just the start. Since the beginning, I started to understand techno and to, to, to listen techno and dance techno. I heard it from a lot of tracks of Adam Bayer, Adam Bayer, Adam Bayer. Adam Bayer. I was very interested though, on Adam Bayer because he, he was a very underground uh, uh, personality, a very underground uh, DJ and producer. I remember the first the tracks of Adam I heard was a uh, were remainings, um, uh, the period of a walking contradiction. I think a walking contradiction in my favorite techno tracks from uh, from the beginning. I, I started to, to to play around. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the track that made my life because I always make it my my skin my skin. You know, like <laughs> the first time I met Adam Bayer, I was like scared, man. If you don't know him, you say, wow, <laughs> he's a big guy, very, you know, very professional, serious, like, yeah, but uh, it was a very big emotion. I was talking with Adam just before on Skype, 
And uh, I remember he, he, he told me, yeah, send me some stuff for drum court. I said, wow, <laughs> amazing. I will do that next week. And I started to work out and work out. I, I remember I, I made the, my first EP, Side Chains. And it was uh, the best emotion of my life. No, playing back to back with my favorite DJ, because Adam is my favorite DJ. And uh, playing back to back eight hours with him uh, is uh, something that you, you can't explain. It's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I, 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 still, uh, I still can't believe it. It was perfect. We started to play and play and uh, I remember mix uh, was very good. It was a, a very special part and a very, very good emotion for me. So, but, uh, we really enjoyed it. <laughs> Techno is a, is, a, is a serious thing for me. It's not uh, just playing there because the people or the promoter carry your names on uh, the radio show or on the tracks uh, chart. I always went and I'm still um, very underground as a DJ. And my dream is to, to arrive in uh, all special countries, all underground countries, except for Mauritius, uh, know, South Africa, uh, Honduras, and I'm very happy to do that because it's, uh, I would like to to, to put the underground techno to the underground campus. For example, in Mauritius, I saw 2,000 people enjoying the techno and somebody told me, oh man, I didn't have this kind of music before, it's amazing. And for me, it was the best happening because I see, I, I was remembering when I heard for the first time techno, when in 2002, 2003, and I said, wow, this, these people feel the same I feel as before. like to do a, a special live set, not with uh, just with Ableton, because for me it's not a, a proper live set. The, for me the live set is with machines and uh, hardware. I would like to do a very special show, I, I need to work hard on it. It will be very different from the normal, I would like you to, to work hard to prepare it. So I don't know, maybe. The good thing is that I, I will never and I will never stop to be DJ, I will never stop to use uh, the pitch control of that. Uh, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to um, uh, just push buttons. I, I, I still want to, to touch the, the control. The most important in this, in this um, world, in this, in this kind of, of life as a DJ, you have to believe in what you do.